So uh, when you were at the United Nations, you represented Indigenous communities in climate negotiations. Um, I think that must have given you a really um, interesting perspective working with different Indigenous communities yeah. throughout the world. So what, kind of, what kinds of things do you think that we can learn from yeah. our Indigenous brothers and sisters? I've, I've been working in and around the United Nations for over 20, I think over 20 years, and I've worked as part of the UN uh, with different NGOs, with, directly with Indigenous peoples, with Tangata Whenua organisations here as well. So I kind of know the ins and outs and bits and pieces and so on and so forth. So I've worked with rainforest communities as well. Um, I worked on a project in the Morovo Lagoon in the Solomon Islands uh, for a number of years, which is looking at the intergenerational transmission of knowledge, the knowledge of Indigenous peoples from the elder generation to the younger generation. And what I find, um, whether it's talking to rainforest people or people, Aboriginal communities in the Northern Territories or folks from the Amazon, is uh, that awareness that we are all connected, that, that we are part of nature, that we aren't separate. Uh, scientists, uh, funny enough, come to this realisation or um, later to the picture than, than Indigenous peoples. And so for me, it's about uh, recognising that a lot of the solutions to the issues that we're facing are with Indigenous peoples um, and that is a way for us to map an alternate path which is uh, opposite to the corporatisation uh, of, uh, of nature. Yeah. Seems like a, a very valuable lesson um, for people to learn and particularly in an environment where um, I guess a lot of emphasis is put on uh, economic value. Yeah. Mm.